for decades, the, the professional organizations like the American Psychiatric Association and, and our Royal College of Psychiatrists, and of course the drug companies all said, well, yes, we know that benzos are kind of addictive, but antidepressants are not. There's no problem with addiction or, or withdrawal effects or dependence. A few people have, you know, a couple of weeks of very mild symptoms. And that is so far from the truth that that has been a really negligent piece of misinformation that has been given to, to doctors and to, and to patients. So um, we had a, a big government level review of prescribed, of dependence on prescribed medications a couple of years ago here, which I was involved in. And we did a, we did a review of all the literature on antidepressants. And um, amazingly, there were only 14 studies that had ever looked at what happens when you stop taking the drugs. Because of course, drug companies are not interested in funding research into how you get off the drugs. Um, mm. That's the last thing they're gonna fund. So there were only 14, but um, the pattern was pretty clear. It was just over half of people experience withdrawal effects when they try and stop antidepressants. And about half of those describe those effects as severe. Yeah. Um, so there's quite a lot of, well, actually millions of people around the world, given, given how many people are taking antidepressants. Millions of people around the world right now trying to get off antidepressants not getting support from doctors because when they describe their symptoms to the doctor, nine times out of 10, because the doctor has been misinformed, the doctor is going to say, oh, that's your illness coming back. So just as they're beginning to come off the medication, they find the medication increased, mm -hmm. um, which, is, which is quite sad. We've made a lot of progress on that in, in Britain. Um, even the Royal College of Psychiatrists has changed its position and put out a very strong statement last year warning about the severity and duration of antidepressant withdrawal. Um, that was a major U-turn for them. Yeah, um, they're, not, they're not known for their U-turns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so to, all credit to them. The American Psychiatric Association hasn't even begun to think about it, I don't think. Yeah. Um, and, and the other thing about antidepressants, um, which is certainly true here, we're as bad as you are on this, is the number of people taking them. Mm -hmm. In Britain last year, and I know it's pretty much about the same in the States, usually I can say the States is worse, but on this one, we're about the same. Um, one in six people are now taking, adults are now taking antidepressants every year. And because it's higher for women, that means one in four women, one in four are taking antidepressants. It's also higher, and I don't know if you've done research in the, in the States, but in Britain, if you're living in a poor, deprived area, you're also more likely to be an antidepressant. So if you're a woman living where I live, and also for over 60s, it's higher. So I live in Newham, London, which is one of the poorest areas in the country. Um, so if you're a woman over 60 living in Newham, you've probably got about a 50% chance of being on antidepressants. And I just find this staggering. I mean, this is an epidemic, an international mm -hmm. epidemic of overprescribing. Mm -hmm. And that's before we add in the benzos and the antipsychotics um, and, and all the other drugs. I, I, I find it quite scary 